What's up, you guys? Welcome back. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today we are on the red carpet at the Chinese Theater for the new Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Stay tuned to see who we catch up with. Congratulations on your movie. How are you feeling? I'm really so excited right now. You should be excited. Now, congratulations on Felix bringing this character to life. Tell me about this. Um, it, um, yeah, Felix is the president's son of the time, President Ravenstill, and um, he is, well, to me, maybe, he's the, he's kind of the, um, the epitome of the capital. He's, you know, he's pretentious, he's a little bit, um, yeah, he's, he's kind of rude. Tell me about, you know, this character and how she brought you some challenges as an actor and how you overcame them. Yeah, I think this was one of the first times where I really had to take a second before my most, you know, emotional kind of scene to really make sure I was in the right place for it because it's like, also Viola Davis is there and I need to bring my A-game <laughs> as an actress. You know, she makes me want to be a better actress and so. I think Dill is such a sweet little girl. She's definitely going to pull on your heartstrings when you see her. Her story is sad but also beautiful at the same time. Such a such a moment that you're just gonna be there and you're gonna see it. You're just gonna be like, oh, but also like, oh, you know. For now, tell me a little bit about fighting to death in that arena, cause holy, I mean, just watching it, my adrenaline was through the roof sitting in that chair. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think especially because we are on location and you know we did this arena space in Poland that we kind of dressed up to make it look real. I just was like, I don't know, like I'd look around and I was be like, wait, are there exits here? Like I can get out, right? It just felt so real. So because of that, like the location and you know our set designers were incredible um, and made you know everything look so beautiful. I think just because you know it felt so real, it didn't you know require too much of us to really get into it and get into the story and the circumstances. I had the little heebie-jeebies when you had to put your hand in the snakes. What was in there? Was there actually anything in there? So, sorry to let everyone down, but it was in fact a blue screen. And so I vividly, you know that like shot of my hand going in, I was like, I should do hand acting. Cause like, there's a little bit of like a hesitation there. I'm like, my body was sweating in actuality. It was, I was like, you know what? Maybe this could be my new thing. But, there you go. Hey, you do have beautiful hands Oh, thanks. Right there. I was really shaking. I was like, let's imagine the snakes are there. <laughs> what was your favorite memory on set? I think one of my favorite memories was celebrating my 12th birthday on set. So right now I'm 13, but on my 12th birthday, it was just so amazing. I celebrated it on set. We were filming, walking into the arena, and everyone saying happy birthday to me. And then we had a party after with a cake. It was just amazing. I think shooting the um, arena scene, there was just so many. We probably had like over 100 cast members there. Maybe like 50, I don't know, that's a lot, <laughs> yeah, um, and it, it was just so many of us tributes, mentors, it was most of us, and it was it was a lot of our first day shooting that day, a lot of the mentors, and it was just like, to come into this huge arena and just to see the size and the scale that they were able to make this film, and the direct, I mean, director and uh, the crew, so many crew, like, who come together to make this possible, um, it was just, it was unbelievable, it was like, wow, you know? My favorite memory was seeing all my friends on screen. If there was a district you had to choose you'd uh, want to be in, what district would that be? I don't know, District 4, because yeah. you know, they're the fishing people. Um, I don't know, I think that would be quite a, quite a contrast from the coal mines. So like, I don't know, maybe it could be fun. I love it. <laughs> district 1. Why? <laughs> district 1, closest to the capital. Least likely to have problems with the electricity and stuff. Like, I am probably safe there. Yeah, but I feel like I would really love the like wilderness and like the un kind of tamedness of District 12 and District 13. So we love it. You'll have to see, maybe. Now let's take the characters out of it. But you know, all these amazing actors and actresses in this one. Who do you think would survive a real Hunger Games? Josh. <laughs> I think Josh is surviving the Hunger Games. Actually, I feel like Nick might survive the Hunger Games. I feel like Amir actually might survive the Hunger Games in some weird way because I feel like he would just kind of, he would just be able to sneak around and stuff. He's kind of got this like scheming matter to him, so I feel like he'd be great at it. Maybe, maybe Reaper. Um, yeah, his, he's um, Dimi. Dimi is his name. Um, he's strong. He's he's smart. He's um, yeah. I think he could probably. I mean, in, in the movie, he also plays a similar character, but I think it, yeah, yeah. I think he would probably, he'd probably win. Demetria Bold. Yeah, why? Dimitri. He's just such a kind heart, and 
and I just, even if he didn't, I would really hope he did. He's just such an amazing soul. He's my district partner, and I just love him with all my heart. He's like my brother to me. I think Dimitri, he's the District 11 Reaper. I think he would kill it. I think he would do a great job, and he's like a sweet guy, but like, I think he could just go ham if he needed to, you know? Um, and I, I, I can see him as a winner, like very clearly in my head. Olivia Rodrigo is making an appearance tonight. If there was a Olivia Rodrigo song to describe how you're feeling tonight, what would that be? I don't know. I think the song for the soundtrack. Okay. I Ask mean, if you can. yeah. Okay. I mean, it's just like I don't know. It like, it really hits the heartstrings. I saw the movie last week and started playing. I was like, oh my gosh, like yes, I was really feeling it, you know. So especially for this movie, I think it's very fitting. I don't know why this song keeps coming to mind, but good for you, because good for you, girl, you're here at the Hunger Games premiere. Vampire. Bad idea. Taylor Swift made a little change of lyrics in Karma, okay? okay. She changed it to Karma is the Chiefs player. So, oh. what would Karma be for you? What would that be? My time management. I don't really know what else to say, but that's literally my karma. Time management is not on my side, girl. Karma is women empowerment and knowing your worth. That's it for this red carpet. I hope you enjoyed our interviews. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Sweetie High down below. As always, I'm your host, Sam Leone, and we will see you guys next carpet. Bye, everyone.